Okay, looks like we're good to go. If you are watching the YouTube recording, you must go forward a few minutes till my chatters get in here and we say our hellos. And there's Joan Smithies right off the bat. Hello, my friend. How are you and Paul doing? I'm going to give it a couple minutes and wait for a few others to show up here. And then we'll get started. What's your weather like in the UK, Joan? Hey, CB. Hey, Tamara. Or is it Tamara? I'm sorry. I can't. I don't know which way it is. I knew a Tamara once, so that's why I'm calling you Tamara. Today, I'm calling you Tamara. Oh, the laughs just keep coming. <laughs> Hey, Jim. Yay. All right. I'm going to uh, dive right in. And uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Rainy and cool. Oh, gosh. We're in the 90s and the heat index with the humidity is closer to 100. Again. You know, it is what it is. CB, you're probably hot and steamy in Texas, aren't you? Hey, Ray Ray. Tindaloo from Norway. Welcome. Hey, Gail. Hi, Libby. Cla oh, you're in Cornwall? I've been to Cornwall. A friend of mine, uh, her brother, lives in Cornwall. We went to visit him, and he has the, um, you probably know, Cornwall seahorses, where he has the horses that ride, you ride them in the, um, in the sea over by, um, what is it, St. Michael's Mount, I think. It is called. No rain from the storm. Oh, yeah, you're probably going to get really slammed with that. My brother uh, flew to the Bahamas Tuesday morning to help a good friend of his. Um, he's in, actually in Cornwall, but we actually visited Penzance when we were there with him one day we want a little sightseeing shopping spray but his his place is in cornwall he's got a i don't know like a thousand or eleven hundred year old stone cottage that he's added on to and he has a little farm where he has his horses and he goes he rides the horses right down to where the causeway is that goes out to mount saint michael's or saint michael's mount i forget which way it's called um and they swim there off the beach on the horse with the horses ride them in the water the horses swim um, it's really cool. But if he's on Facebook, it's called, um, I don't know if he's got it as Cornwall Seahorses or Seahorses of Cornwall. And he also has a Facebook page called The Peep Out, P-E-E-P, -E -E The Peep Out. And that's what he calls his, uh, his land there. It's pretty cool. And when you go up in the upper level that he added to this little stone cottage, you can see St. Michael's Mount from there. It's really cool. So anyway, back to the U.S. I started to say something and then I lost it again. <laughs> Story of my life. So let me get these out of here. So thank you to all who ordered the cling set of the new pictograph designs. They are sold out. I'm having more ordered. And one thing I'm going to work on is um, having all my sets of stamps all converted into cling mount sets. I think having the unmounted sheets, although they're cheaper to buy, I think it's off-putting to a lot of people to have to uh, go about the process of mounting them if they want them mounted or not even knowing what to do with them. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to convert them all to um, cling mounts. And uh, you're not kidding, Ray Ray. So anyway, what you see in front of me are Robin McClendon's August printables. These are yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm going to pull you in a little bit. And I'm going to buzz through these real quick. We'll do a proper uh, introduction and uh, demo with these uh, probably after next week. But I just wanted to show you these so you can drool over them like I am and uh, they're 16 pages this time 
They are, they're gorgeous. So here's, here's one of them. I love this little donut and the font over here. This was, I think, from Zandra Stencil that she gave her. This was a handmade paper she did. Some of her scripting on there. Um, I'll try to keep these in order. This Z, this is your stencil that you gave her. She mentioned that on Patreon that you gave her that stencil in um, when we were in Arizona. Some ink blots. All this stuff. Some more scripting. All different kinds of um, yummy goodness in here. Little pops of red coming through in these pages. Here's another one. So they kind of all tie together. Even with previous months, they all tie together. They are Robin McClendon, M-C-C-L-E-N-D-O-N. She sells them on her teachables.com website. So if you go to teachables.com, and when these are available for the public, I'll, I'll do the demo and I'll include a link to that site. But if you go to Teachables, look up Robin, um, that's where they will be when they're released. And this is some of her rusted motor parts that she does out in her backyard and, and, and ages and patinas these papers. This was a handmade paper. It was like a book lining. Um, this is gorgeous. Even some of those bits in there, I don't know if you can tell, they look shiny. Look at the texture that printed. Love this one with the washers, the rusty gears and washers that were in there. This is a close-up of some of the Punchinella and how patinaed and rusty that looks. And some bronze, I'm sure, is in there. I like the circle in the background. This one's one of my faves. Look at the shadows around that rusted little bit there. It looks so 3D. Here's another kind of zoomed in piece. These are great for backgrounds. Tear it up. This is the one that I used before. Um, can you set your printer to borderless? I can't figure it out if I can, C uh, CB. I would love to know how to do that. I really have to get in the settings and screw around with it and see if I can figure it out because I hate that little edge on there. But this one you've seen me use before. This was a freebie that she gave um, out in Patreon a while back. Ugh, yummy. Here's the stencil again. And it, just the format of just that stencil with that Chinese font on it. This one, I don't know how she did that. It must have been some kind of a stencil. But that one's really cool. Really, really cool. And then here's two more that have bring the red in it. Some of her scripting. All right, so there you go. 16 pages. And we will revisit these. Hey, Eileen. We'll revisit these. Um, I, uh, when, it's, uh, when I go to do the project with these, once they're released for everybody. So we'll button those up and put those bad boys up there for now. And... Um, Here's some of this coffee stain stuff I showed you guys yesterday. Um, I love how this sounds. It must be CB. What did CB say? I hope it does, if I can find it. I, but I look, um, when I look in the settings, it says, when I go to print, what does it say? Fill entire page, and that's how it comes out with that little border on it. I'll have to look into it because I hate that border. You know how it drives me crazy when I try to <laughs> when I try to tear it off. Um, hey Wendy. Hey Allie. Who else did I miss while I was going through my mishmash of information? So we're going to do something and I have it in my head to start a collage with this piece of um, Unruh as the background and that's been through the foil that's been through the mink with some little little tidbits on there so has this but that's a little bit brighter for maybe another one and this one I didn't foil this one I coffee stained it but you can't hardly tell I mean you can tell the difference of this Unruh paper next to this edge but with this paint on it you don't really 
see it that much. I might put this bad boy through there with a used piece. We'll see. But these, I do want to run through real quick to see if I want to use any of these. I printed on my laser printer on coffee stain resume paper. And this was on bond paper. And I want to put these through the, the machine real quick. Let me turn this bad boy on. You'd think I would have done that in advance, but I'm not that smart. Uh-oh. Oh, hell, I think I left them on. Oh, not good. Um, now where are all my little... Oh, here they are. I left them handy. What do you know? So... Let's grab something. I like the champagne and the bronze foil on the coffee stain. So let's grab those two out. And these, this won't take long to shove these bad boys through there. Oh, maybe because I'm doing documents, I don't see it. Patty, select your printer from the printer drop-down menu and select actual size under size options. Click the page setup button. If your printer supports borderless printing, the margin selection of the last will be edited while changed in my video. The printer has to support borderless printing. You would think so. Wouldn't that save me a lot of headaches? Honestly, it really would. Oh, look at that. You fit right on there. Oops. Missing that little teeny tiny piece right there. All right. I'll stack these up. Wait for that to beep and tell me it's ready to go. I'm anxious to see this one. Oh, this one I'll need a full sheet. And actually that one I might do in gold. Gold? Yeah, what the hell? And it just beeps. So I'm going to shove this one in there. Oh, Lordy. This static electricity in here. Enough to make you want to drink. Any excuse. Hey, Colleen. So, let's do... That's not going to fit on here, is it? Nope. It's going to linger a little bit. Let's do this. How much of this can I cut off here? And then kind of patch it on here or not. There we go. Ugh. Put that one there so that little dot gets on there. Oh, crap. Now i got to open this. and Well, that's okay. That's the price I pay. All right. Move that out of there. Okay. Here we go. Let me take these over there. Hi, Ginger. Hey, I'm in. pretty that is on the coffee stain. So you're seeing a lot of reflection in the lights and it's looking more golden, but it's it's a dark bronze. It truly is um let's 
see here. Oh man, these things in this these tubes are. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Who else did I miss? Hey, Dot. All right, let's do this. I was thinking about this and just tearing long lengths of these to drop down. Edge of a page or... I'm trying to come up with a page that's kind of burnt up a little bit here and not much foil left on it to show you what I was doing with all those prints I showed you guys yesterday. I noticed I was watching back my recording of my stream yesterday, last night, and I wanted, I was looking for something. And uh, I noticed that when I was holding the prints up like this, at this kind of an angle, they all showed kind of a pinky, I had a pink shirt, a bright pink shirt on, and it was reflecting in this. So today I have this color teal shirt on. So if you see anything looking on the green side, I don't know what would do it here. Who knows? That's what it was. So that's that set. What else? I have this one. Let's do this one. I think I'm going to do this in champagne. These stamps of this text. And this will eat up a lot of the print on here. over. There we go. Okay. I'm anxious to see what this one looks like. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh you pretty. I like you. Um, which color do I want to put on here? I wonder. I wonder if I did it in black. That's what I'm thinking. I know you can't hear me think. That's probably, you're better off, trust me. <laughs> Nobody wants to go up there. Let's do this one in black. So it'll just be black, but it'll be shiny. Hey, Margaret. Z is not going to stream today. She is, you know, those big flat file cabinets. And she and Jimmy came down, I don't know, a week or so ago and picked her one set of drawers up. Hey, Ronald, welcome. So let's put this one through. See 
Ooh, look at you. You can't hate that. Now this one's got some usage on it. So now we'll see. Uh, do I want to put this through there? Will it take another? Actually, you know what? Oh, this is the one I didn't do. The coffee, the coffee stain one hasn't been through here yet. So let's, just for giggles, let's throw, gosh, it's so shiny, it's hard to see. Now that's still going to cover up a lot. Let me see if I can find a more used piece in here. God, I got to take that out of the light. That's so shiny. It's so shiny. Oh, here's one that's pretty used. Wow, that's really used. Maybe we'll see if any little tidbits come off of that one. These are um, hard to handle with all that static electricity in there. All right, let's just do this, just for giggles. Let's see what we get. See how much this is, whoop, how much it's been used and how you can see my hand through there where all the foil is gone. That's what I want. I just want it to hit every so often. And these big solid pieces over here, I'm trying to keep that off the paint as much as I can. And we'll see what happens. All right, I have this one, and there's two more that need to go through, then we'll be done with this for now. Oh, look at you. All right, you can't hate that. You can try, but you can't. <laughs> More fun than a nap. Yay, me. <laughs> All right. The one with the black foil on it is almost through. So let me stack up these used bits. Try to get these under control somewhat. Black. Bronze. Gold. These in the folder. I don't know if I'm whipped up that much about this black foil because it doesn't really it's glossy but I don't know what I was expecting but eh, it's all right it doesn't wow me I won't have to buy any more of that particular brand of black for this purpose anyway oh I don't want those in there I want this one in here Mask. I'm sure you could, Allie. I've had that happen when I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm sure you could intentionally do that. All right, let's get these out of here. Wow. 
last one. Turn the machine off this time. <laughs> all right, we'll see if we got anything on here at all. Wow, more than you'd think comes off of there. So, you know, this whole thing has that glistening sheen to it. But when you look at it in certain angles, you can still see the colors that were in there. The, the pictographs and the gold and the turquoise that was there. See these pieces like this? They can fool you with what's left on them. I'll keep this one in here for maybe another time and just see how much stuff still keeps coming off of it for another day. All right, let me get my, my wits about me. <laughs> that could take a while, as we know. Get rid of this. Has glue and all kind of stuff on this thing. Okay. Let's, I'm going to zoom this out and figure out where I'm, I'm going to move the camera. So hang on to your lunch. Actually, that's pretty straight. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's, where are those backgrounds? I don't think any of these, I have to do something with these one day, I guess. Where I did those tests, but not today because I want to use the other background. Ugh, over that. Gotta do something with that. I really like this one. I really like this one too. I do not like this one. But hey, is uh, let's see who's on here that might know. CB, did you watch Kathy Arbor uh, mess with the bronze paint on the jelly plate, spray it with water and see the turquoise and green break out of it? Remember I did, I scraped this and saw that greenish on there. And remember when I stamped it um, on the fabric, how you saw that kind of army green? Oh, this thing with those darn coins, you lord. <laughs> That one, nah, yeah, not my fave, but yeah, it's in there. What are you going to do? This one's pretty cool. I love this handmade paper that Robin sent me. All right, so let's, I'm almost done this book. I've never finished a journal before, ever, of any kind. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's good, CB. Okay, let's see what we got here. See what we got here. All right. This already has some holes in it and rips in it, which we're going to go with that wabi-sabi kind of feel. So I need to get rid of these fringes of paper. And I'm just going to use a water brush and try to separate the fibers on this. I'm guessing they're going to come off really easily. All right, so I'm just going to go around the paint. Get that juiced up a little bit. And right around the edge. And this, I'm going to try to leave these straggly pieces of painted stuff on there. Oh, yeah, that comes off of there real good. Real nice. All right. Oop. Hey, Glenda. Good to see you back. 
Has anybody heard anything from Paula? I saw where she said she wasn't feeling that well the other day. And said she'd see everybody in the morning. And I don't, I've lost track. I don't know if she was on that next morning. But she wasn't on last night that I saw. Hoping she's all right. Now, I think I'm going to use the glitter glue for this. Not a glue stick. I don't think this would survive a glue stick. I like this frayed bits down here too, though. Hey, Robin. We hope so too. Mind if she posted that she was not going to stream last night, not feeling, and was going to try this morning, but I didn't see her. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, okay. So let's, and see this has holes in it. I almost think I want to put like bronze underneath of this and then lay this over it. But no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Too risky. So I'm going to do, I wonder if I glue stick the page and then just lay this on there. Hey, Deb. I'm not sure if that, I guess the that glue stick in this would mingle okay. You think? No, well, let's try it. What the heck? All right. Glenda, I'm going to take your word for it. You've never led me wrong yet. And never led me astray. I probably should have waited to do this until I did this. But, you know, I didn't. So I'm going to get around the edges with this really well, hopefully. around those little peepholes there. All right. Here you go. Nothing. Now do I want the phrase at the top or the bottom? I think the bottom. They kind of look like they're dripping off the bottom. So let's see if I can get this anywhere near close to where I want it. Not looking at chat right this minute. I'll be back directly. Right. Oops. Now this got a little wrinkly in here, but I think that's okay. It's not like it's going to be hanging on the wall in a museum. Or is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Layer number one. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Candy. Sandy Candy. All right. So there's layer one. I think that's a really cool looking background. What are we going to do now? This isn't the best scripting, but that's okay. It's not a contest, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I can do with this. Oops, get off of there. Oh. 
I won't use this whole strip, but I'll just take the whole thing out of here because I don't know how long I do want it. I just don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. That cuts so nice on rice paper. All right, Margaret. Hey, Virginia. All right. Let's. Can you tell I'm concentrating? I'm not talking. It's rare, I know. All right, let's see what we get. Look at you, you little rascal. Should I cover up those holes? Or do I let them let them be? I don't know. I will decide later. That's not what I want it. I really need to do something with the stack stack papers. That's Killing me. This one came out kind of cool, coffee stain. That was on Deli. I wasn't sure how that would work. But there were so many interesting colors in the pull. I think that came out pretty neat. Maybe we'll use a piece of that. I don't know. What I'm looking for, I think, is underneath of these things. This is all the foil craziness I went through yesterday. Oh, maybe one of these. No. Maybe. Oh, here's some foil. See, I got to get this organized. Look at all this stuff in here. Come on, Patty. Remember, I said I was going to take this stuff and put it all in one folder. See, here's some of the coffee stain I did yesterday. Maybe we'll use a piece of that. Or that. I don't remember what paint this was, but I put this through to try to get a little bit of foil on it, and no foil would stick to this stuff. What's my favorite foil? Where do I buy mine? I'm dog. I'm dogs while I watch. Should be interesting. I'm not sure what that means, but I think you're doing something with the dogs. Um, I don't remember what this was, but this went through the foiler, the mink, and nothing came off on this. And I know it was acrylic paint. It was on my jelly plate. It might, whatever is it, fabric paint? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Uh, we're going to do something with this one sometime soon. I'm going to put that one on top. I like that one. For a different style of pizzazz. God, if I need anything silver, look away. Put your sunglasses on. You're going to burn your corneas. All right. I really need to go through those. Maybe we'll do that when I get done this and try to do some kind of sorting. 
Um, all right, let me see what I got here. That's black, but it doesn't even really look black. It looks more, or is this the bronze one I did? This could be the bronze one that I did. I take it back. These are the ones I just did this morning. That's not bronze. Oh, maybe, no, I did that in black. Oh my God, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. All right, let's look at these bits here. I had an idea of um, running something like this down the border. And the rose gold. I don't think I did rose gold on that one, though. I know which one I used rose gold on, but I don't think it was that. You know, oh, you're bathing the dogs. Oh, God bless you. And watching me? Oh, not happening if you're bathing Oakley. Oh, Jesus. We're all bathing when we bathe Oakley. <laughs> um, let me try. Let me try this. This is, I think this is resume paper. Oop, get out of there. We'll see how this tears. It's got cotton in it, so. We'll see if that's going to cooperate. I'm going to let that sit for just a second on there. Because I, I imagine this on a border. Wow, that's really not cooperating with the water. That's working, but I had to really kind of yank at it. Hey, maybe the one with the border. I could put down there. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. The green. This is so weird. This is never something I would have done on purpose. Although I did it, <laughs> clearly. Patty, questions are being asked. Oops, Patty, you never finished telling everyone where you buy your... Oh, sorry, Jim. Um, I bought them through scrapbooks.com, Amazon, and Joann's, mostly. Marlou! Um, I showed Robin's new August printables. They'll be released to everyone soon. And then I started on a, uh, I did some more foils on some pages, the ones I coffee stained yesterday. And then uh, now we're going to play with a collage. Did I miss any other questions? I don't finish a lot of things, but it's not because I don't love you guys. It's because my brain's not quite, not quite there. Oh, you know what would be cool? If I had black and white striped surfboards. Somebody remind me to do that. <laughs> I'll just take my stripe stencil and print it with um, black paint on white paper. All right, I'm just going to test this for color. Oop. And I'm thinking now. I don't know. I won't rule it out completely. Maybe use it differently than I usually do. Um, put something shiny in there. 
Oh, I stamped these kind of close. This is going to be a little tricky. I guess it doesn't matter if I get if I get it mingled and have little bits of the other stamp in there. All right, is that gonna is that gonna work with me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe not everywhere. <laughs> I think it just didn't get enough water on it. Oop, that's enough water. Got a little bubble there. Is there something you look for when getting foils that work for these techniques? Uh, not really. I mean, I just make sure they're heat activated so that they'll work in the main or toner, either toner or, or heat. Um, so if we don't have toner, but I use the acrylic paint on the jelly prints, I don't need the toner, but it will work with heat activated foil sticking to the hot acrylic when it heats up going through there. What did Allie say that doesn't sound? When I did a search, some had a paper backing to the, oh no. No, this stuff is on those clear um, release sheets. I don't know what it's called. It's some kind of acetate or something, but a really fine film that the foil is attached to. That sounds like it may be some kind of sticky back foil with the, if it's got paper underneath of it. But yeah, the mink needs either laser toner Either you print out something on a laser printer or you use their very sought after and out of stock everywhere liquid toner ink that you saw me a few weeks ago. I was braring it on stamps and then stamping it. Either one of those or you use acrylic paint and let that bad boy heat up. I wonder if I want this whole thing in here. What is happening on my phone? Kind of like that, actually. Let me cut one of these out just for gigs. I was wondering what to search for to find foils that work. Well, when you say foils that work, what do you want to what do you want to do with them? And what are you using to make the foil stick? That's what you need to decide. You can you can uh, find, and I couldn't tell you whose blog it is now, but when I was first trying to figure it out, I went, when I had those foil quill pens, and I was trying to figure out what other foils other than the We Are Memory Keepers quill foil would work with them, I found a blog, and she had done experiments with all kind of different foils and had a list of what worked and what didn't. Um, But it, it depends on how you're how do you plan on fixing the foil to your project? Heat toner paste. Some of them work with those pastes that you can um, you know put on over a stencil, remove the stencil, let it dry till it's tacky, then put the foil over it. 
and um, press it down. See, I don't think that's got enough pizzazz in it. Oh, maybe we could. Um, hmm. Had a flash of an idea there for a minute. Uh, now, my mom's doing well. Hey, Kathy. My mom is doing well. Um, she, thankfully, it was a mini stroke and had no um, residual effects. Um, all her symptoms resi uh, resolved within a few um, hours after they started. By the time they brought her back out of the CAT scan, she was speaking normal and... Um, remembered everything that happened to her so so far so good did i miss anybody else's questions yeah Allie, did that answer your question at all you can maybe look for like foil comparisons, um, either Google it or look for that on YouTube. Um, you know, but again, it depends on what, what method you want to or plan to use um, to fix the foils to your project. Yeah, thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Colleen. Everybody. <laughs> she was lucky. Um, Allie, I don't know how you want to affix the foil to your project. I think that's that's where you need to start. Are you do you have a laminator or a mink machine? Do you have the quill pens? Do you um want to use toner to put it through a machine or heat. Thanks, Eileen. Well, if you, if you use em, embossing, do you mean you're going to like stamp an image, emboss it and while it's hot, put the foil on it? I think you can use any of those foil, not a paperback one, but any of the foils that are on those clear transfer sheets. Deco art, mink. Uh, we are memory keepers. Um, I forget what some of the other ones are. Those are the ones that I have so far. Um, but you can also look on YouTube for foil comparisons or Google foil comparisons, craft foil compares comparisons or something like that and find something that might help you. Um, that looks, that's too light across there. I don't like that. I do like it. I think I'm going to default to this one. I think that one's not too bad when I look at it. But you know what it needs. I've got all these. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go through the stack of stuff. I really am. Get all the foil stuff out of there. Oops. You're welcome. I mean, I know enough about it to be dangerous. I'm just kind of finding my way. I do it a lot. You'd think I'd know more, but hmm, not so much. something like that there perhaps or 
we're going to put, oh, here it is. Oh, my. It doesn't take long to fill up a box of bits that you want to keep. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's half the battle is coming up with the right words that get you where, where you want to be in uh, Google. Let's try that. Just playing around. There. I know I don't want that. I don't want that, but I will use that another time. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Oh, there. There you go. Thanks, Eileen. Everybody, quick, click on that link. Okay, so let's try it like this. And I want to cover a little bit of that with the coffee stain paper. Here and there. Oop. I want some of this background to peek through too, though. Maybe like so. And maybe get you out there a little bit. Overlap you there. And maybe have this one just sticking out of this frayed edge here. Something like that, maybe. Can you even see it? See, Riri? So, let's see. I got to get the black down first. All right. Let's move this over here and move this like this and see if I'm really convinced that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, I want to get these little white bits off of here because I want it to end in black so you can see it against this. And, oh, that works out perfectly. Oh, but you know what? I'm covering up this whole thing that I wanted to show. Well, that might be the cost of doing business. Or maybe I make this shorter. Like so. What would you do if there was a ban on black and white striped paper? It's not going to be pretty, Eileen. I'm going to have to hire you to make me some. It's my thing. I just like it. I just like the contrast from the stark black and white to the all the old grungy coffee stuff. Or anywhere, even when I do my purple and turquoise stuff and brighter stuff, I like to throw black and white. I like to throw black and white in a black and white collage. All right, let's see where we go with this. Maybe like that. Then we put this one here. I have made my own um, 
just by going in and creating a page in a graphics program with um, all long skinny black rectangles and printing it on whatever. Um, I have done that. That was before I had a laser printer and I had to be mindful of um, I know I stopped talking. <laughs> ah! I'm aware. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, yeah, because then I had to be mindful of when I would, back then I was collaging using mostly um, matte medium to adhere things. And I want to go over top of the, of the thing. I would have to be mindful to like on this one, I'd stroke this way so that I only went, if it moved, it only went black on black. Right. If I went this way, we'd have shades of gray up and down the whole thing because on the inkjet it would smear. I have to drink a lot of water today because I got to give blood tomorrow. All right. I think that I think that will do. All right. Here we go. Let's start making something happen here, people. Hey, Carrie Ann. Hey, Devon. Devon, Devon. I never know. I make things up, basically. I thought you'd be concerned about the cost of ink in an inkjet printer. Uh, no, I'm not at all. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm on the HP Ink program. And for like $4.99 a month. I can pretty much print as much as my heart desires and then have some pages left over. Hey, Linda. Hi, Gina. So um, otherwise, before in a previous life when I've had to um, pay for the ink every time, $60, $70, whatever it was, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I uh, wasn't apt to print as much. But now I'll print whatever the heck I want to print on here because it's just, it really, they send it to you. So when they detect you've made enough copies, um, so right there on top of that one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, they send you ink when they know that you should be running low. Which I love. I'm going to switch this and put the black on this end over here. One, two, three, four, five. I had it right about there, I think. And that. Yeah, I wanted some of this white to show down here, so that's good. Okay, HP program is true. Yeah, I really like it. I've only had inkjet printers. Is the toner expensive? Um, it's expensive if you only buy toner uh, yourself going to wherever, Amazon or Office Depot and buying a set of cartridges. If you get on the HP ink program, it's, I mean, think the, I think the lowest one is $2.99 a month. And uh, I forget how many pages that gives you. I have to go look at it, but you can look at it. Just look up HP Instant Ink is what it's called. And when I bought my HP printer, the, there was information in there and I got free months with it with um, having just bought the printer. So that was good. I want more of that black and white to show there. 
All right. Coming along. So this, I want this to run kind of like this. And I'm going to cut this last, tear this last piece off. That's going to be a little too long. So we'll get rid of that. And I'm going to use the starch paste here and see what happens. But how do you collage with the prints and not smear them with matte medium? You mean print it on an inkjet? You could do it using a glue stick, easy. But if you do it, Kathy, what I was saying is, like, if I had stripes like this and I was trying to put the uh, matte medium on top of the item after I glued it on the paper, I wanted to put a top, uh, a top coat on there to glue it down, I would go in the direction of the stripes. So I'd go back and forth like this with the brush so that if any of this liquefied and, and loosened up, it would go, it would stay in its row of black. It wouldn't get, if I go this way, it would smear it and it would be shades of gray through the whole thing. But I just very gingerly put a really light um, copy on this. Um, hang on one second. I think we have a possible problem. Oh, God. All right, um, I'm going to keep going until I know that I have to go. Um, yeah, it'll smear. It'll smear if you um, use an inkjet printer and wet that paper. That ink will move. Um I have bought black and white striped scrapbook paper, which did not uh, blur. Um, hang on. Sorry, guys. Possible uh, urgent matter here. Lord. Um, It's always something. Was he supposed to be somewhere and didn't show up? Question mark. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey, Diane. I got to get it in when I can. I got a rough week coming up and don't know when the next time will be. So... Okie dokie. Let's, of course, I have it upside down and bass backwards here, but I might have to, oh, or I could tear it in half. Either way would be good. Maybe that's for the better. <laughs> All right, let's start with you. I want to go, this gets so floppy with this glue, but it's good glue. 
So I must endure the flop. Yikes. I can smell the coffee on this once it got wet with the glue. Yeah, I don't remember what kind of printer that, um, and I meant to put that under there. Oh, well, it's going to go over now. Do I want to go this way? I want to do that. Or do I want to do this so that white doesn't show? Let's just do that. Overlap a little bit there. And we'll put this little bit of shiny down here. Something like that. And then Gail. Let's see. Do I want more of that there? Do I want to get off of there? Do I want that there? That kind of hides all that foil. I have to turn this at an angle. It's so shiny, I can't hardly see it. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I mentioned this at first, but there was only a few people on here. I, um, since my stream last night, I sold out of all the cling sets of my new pictograph stamps. Um, they're on reorder. I do have a few of the um, unmounted sheets left. And they're in my Etsy shop of um, Inky Obsessions. I don't know. I mean, that's where I started. I feel like I should just go with that. Or do I go up here and interrupt some of that? Scripting like so. And then put that down there. I don't know. I 
don't know. I kind of like that. down now <laughs> and this do I even need you down here oops well that was still wet that's okay I'll leave that alone and let that dry um, I don't even think I need that down there There's where it is now. It's very shiny. <laughs> of course, I'm shiny. I might leave it there and think on it. Thanks, Kathy. Sorry, trying to read up in chat. Um, okay. Oh, oh, where's my little pen here? Let me put this in my blue before I forget it. And what time is it? 3.48. Hang on one second. I need to... Uh, ay, ay, ay. Where's my lid? Here it is. On the other side of the desk. Hello? Hey, Zach. Hey, I'm, gl I'm glad to hear you. Your sister's in a panic. She said, I can't find Zach. He's not answering. I've been trying to reach him forever. So... Oh, you probably lost reception. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, well, she was just texting that she can't find you. You're seem to be missing and I was wanted to, I'm, I'm live I'm live streaming so I got to go I told her I said you're probably your battery just died but give give her a call and, and actually talk to her <laughs> all right honey love you thanks bye missing nephew found sweet Jesus um kids are gonna give me a heart attack so I want to Do something. I'm going to set this to side and let this dry a little bit before I shut it. But I want to play a little bit with, if you guys watch Kathy Arbor, A-R-B-O-U-R. -R. And um, she did recently a stream where she was jelly plating and she was... Um, playing with the the Golden's Iridescent Bronze. 
in different ways on the jelly plate. And I'm going to see if I can kind of mimic what she was doing. you got to go check out her own video. It's really cool. Let's put a couple drops of, this is Titan Buff. All right, and then, where's my wire? My wire away. Well, his father, my nephew's father, my brother, is in the Bahamas. Um, he went there Tuesday. Apparently, the Bahamas were going to shut down any entry from the U.S. with the virus. Um, as of, I think it was July 22nd, and a friend of his has his yacht and another boat there. He's got like an 87 foot yacht and um, a uh, a smaller, if you know what a center console is with three big outboards on it. So they were, Skip went with his buddy and his wife um, to try to get their boats out of there. So they flew Tuesday morning and went to the Bahamas and no sooner after they landed did it start spraying with water. Did it start uh, blowing like crazy. So they decided to lay over and leave the next morning. Well, then it was blowing worse. And um, let me try to show you what this what's happening here on the plate. See this breaking out in that turquoise color? Isn't that cool? Look. Now, we know I've used this before and you've seen the green come up. But this is more like an aqua color. He's so pretty. Um, so anyway, they were stuck for days. So they had to get out of the Bahamas. So they left and they ran the boats. It was sloppy, but they ran the boats over to um, Chub K. Um, and held up there for, well, until this morning. So however many days that is. Um, trapped in paradise. It was too windy. It was really rough. Hey, Teresa. So um, they just took off from Chub K to make the run across to Jupiter, Florida this morning. So hopefully Skip won't see those texts thinking his son is MIA. I'll be in a total panic. And she just let this kind of paper sit on there. She didn't really press it and pick up a lot of that wetness. And we'll see what we got. Oh, look at you. This was on onion skin. So let's see how that dries. Um, and I'm going to pick this up. Let me see if I can pick that up with deli. I don't know how much, how well the deli is going to pick up the water. We shall see. I just wanted to play this for a minute. And then I think I'm going to sort through those, that stack of papers and try to figure out what I'm doing there. Isn't that cool? This one looks like it's getting even more green as it lays there. Where the water's on it. Isn't it? I love that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that real quick. I thought it was... Marvelous, just simply marvelous. Um, let's do just, I can't stop. Let's just do a couple drops of this. And a little spray. And let's just see if it does it with no other color. She was mixing it with white a lot, but I think just so... She, she had something to pick it up with. It is like a verdigris. Exactly, Robin. But you got to check out Kathy's chance. She does some really cool stuff. She's a very talented artist. See what's going on there. So now I'm going to take another piece of onion skin. 
And I'm, this time I'm going to push it and try to clean it all up and see what happens. I'll be doing a lot more of this, I can tell you, because this is right up me alley with these colors. That almost looks like one of those, what do they call it, dendritic, is it the word? You can see in the valleys, there's some, some of that green. Very interesting. I'm going to, let's just get rid of that. Let's see if I can print it on here. Just so I can put my plate away. Oh, <laughs> almost had it. Rascal. Okay. All right. This one looks really cool. It's changing as it sits here. While well, it's still got that water on it, there you can really see how much darker that is. And this one, that pretty much, well, it didn't dry exactly completely, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to put this somewhere safe so it can dry and do what it's going to do. And hopefully I'll think about looking at it again before we sign off, but I'm going to rifle my way through this stack of papers and try to come up with some sort of uh, organizing. Patty, do you think the kind of paper will change the result? Um, well, I don't know. If the result is similar on each paper um, with the coloration, but you know some are more absorbent than others, so the longer it stays wet might have some impact on the amount of green that it comes up with. I'll have to really play with it at some point, but I just thought that was cool. Oh, you know what this needs? It needs a little something red. Why did that just come to me? Now, do I have anything red? I've got very little red stuff. I did just place an order through um, for jet pens um, for, and in the order, I ordered a little bottle of this J. Irvine. It's a red ink, but it kind of looked online. I know that's not a good representation. Like it might be something that I could use in this stuff that's got an oriental kind of a coloration to it. Oh, how about these? Um, hang on. Maybe just one character? Maybe a little hunk of that. Just a little tiny piece. I'll give it a try. I don't like the red foil that I have, Helen. I did that foil hoping that I would like it, but I don't I don't care for it. Try to get rid of some of this excess paper. I've been holding on to this because I like the character. But never quite have the use for it. All right. Seth Abbott, an awesome class using layers and layers of acrylic paint. 
He is the king of layers. That's what I commented to him on his last thing he posted. He was the king of layers. If I just drop that in there. Or do I drop it over there overlapping this? Or do I put it up here? See all these options are confusing I gotta look on the screen I wish I could take some of these classes but there always seem to be like during the week and that's difficult for us working girls I could kind of go there and hide that little mumbo jumbo there. Well, I'm going to use this and I'm going to put it somewhere. I'm either going to put it there. I think I'm going to put it there. I think it gets lost in the cluster up here. Eileen, where do I put it up here higher? I kind of like it down there like a chop kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to chop it. Yes, I am. So, I need a little thing to down a bit of this paste again. I forget what ink this was. This might have been that J. Irvine. I forget what it is. It changes colors. Like, it's got different pig. Yeah, I can see a little bit of the orange in here when I really look at it. Come on, work with me. This stuff is tricky once you get it on the paper. I'm whispering like at a golf match. <laughs> How they whisper. My dad <laughs> it was so funny. He used to say, that's so damn stupid. He said, they're a mile away in a TV station and they're whispering like they're right behind him. <laughs> uh -huh. Try to get some of that down there. Clear that up a little bit. Good enough. That makes me happy. I'm very easily entertained. <laughs> I do too, Eileen. I love some of his marks with the circles and the, the, the grunge of it and just the symbols that he uses. I really like. I think that perked it up. <laughs> okay. Now, if anybody doesn't want to see a thousand pieces of paper with me trying to figure out what the hell to do with them. Now's the time to move on. <laughs> I'm going to put stack all my foiled stuff in one of these folders. I'm going to put that there. i got to zoom out. So, foil, foil. Oh, then what am I going to do with all this stuff? Do I sort them like this is the problem. Do I sort them like uh, color family or coffee stains together or all black papers together or how does one do this so that it works? I do not know. There's foil. We can start doing that much. 
<laughs> I really like this one, how it came out. Even the back's cool. Oh my. See, some of these I want to work on soon. So maybe like my favorites that I know I'm going to do something with, I will put somewhere. So these surfboards. This, eh. I'm going to get these foil in the folder. The foil folder. And see, normally I would have thrown a piece like this out with so much of that gone. But... Is it a little sparkle when you want it through again and like that one here's that rose gold that's the pattern I did on the rose gold those big circles all right I'm going to leave that up there so it's handier oh my now I have all these I have a bunch of scripts practice that I did already out of room <laughs> oh, hey Jude thanks um, maybe I'll put all the black papers together and maybe the deli paper together maybe and then we got your unru we'll put that in the pile I might use soon this is, it looks like a mess And we'll put it here for now. I think that's a nice ghostly background. I might put that here. I might use that soon. And then we got your rice papers. So let me do this. Let me put the foils in the foil folder and move that to make room for another stack. <laughs> oh, ay, ay, ay. that up there so this is rice paper deli scripting oh my god now I got onion skin tissue paper we'll put that with the rice onion skin onion skin this is the rice paper this came out pretty cool Oh, this one can just go by ice right there. Oh, yummy. Look at you, my little lovely. Mm, I'm going to put that in my favorites pile. This, not so much. There, there. This one came out cool. This is the one I used that um, one of Jones stencils. I did a jelly print on and put that... Um, that iridescent one with the patterns in it in there. It looks really like you can put your hand down in it. It looks 3D. Mama, like that. Where are you going to go? Should I consider you with the deli papers, perhaps? Black paper. Deli. deli. I really like this. Of course. But how it got the little bits on there. I'm going to put the used piece through there. This was really used. Throw them in a box. I'm not throwing them in a box. That's why the pile's so damn big there. I keep stacking them up and stacking them up, and I don't know what I have. I can't do it. See, there's the rose gold one. And more of that on special papers. Special papers. See, there's the red foil. Not a fan. See how red, red that is? And it's like, looks gold and red. And when it's not on a certain angle, it just looks like black ink. Eh. Not a fan. These are the originals that I use to put those up there too. 
Dusting. Oh my god. I was practicing a lot with different brushes. <laughs> Big brushes. Skinny brushes. <laughs> oh, and I still am not great at it. That's okay. That's okay. Here's more foiled stuff. Ay, ay, ay. I love this one. That's one of my favorites. And I love this one. I really do like this one. Uh, we're about a third, well, a quarter of the way through. So buckle up, buttercups. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, you may want to save yourself. That's one of my favorites. Maybe I should do it by color. Shit, now I gotta start over. But like what color is that? Is that blue or is that gold? <laughs> See what See where the trouble comes in? There's my little celestial stamp. I might put that over there. We might do something with that one soon. Oh, this one was for Gala, but she's not here. <laughs> I like this one. See how far down we are? Judy. I've got some shadows of pictographs in it. Oh, I like you. I like a lot of them, but some of them I love. Same as men. <laughs> you love you. I really like this one too. That's a good background. I think whoever said color might be right. This is going to be out of control. I never see your wise crack. Did I miss something you said, CB? Bless your heart. Say it again. I promise I'll watch. That's one of my favorites, too. Teresa. Selective sight. Selective hearing, selective smell. <laughs> I've got them all. CB, you hurt my feelings. Ooh, some of these are a yummy bit. See, I hit the different veins of the ones that I really like. Pick 10 you don't love and do a giveaway and let me win. Oh, <laughs> Oops, that's not there. 
Whoa, remember that one? I think I did that with some um, pigments. That's great. Oh, here's another little lovely. This is with Seth's, um, that turquoise is that glacial green uh, eye zinc gel. It's Joan stencil in the background there. Oh, here you are. Look at you, you little lovely thing, you. That one came out pretty cool, if I must say so myself. Oh, my. Oh, I like this one. Oh, here's more foil stuff. <laughs> See how this happens? These are the things that didn't print out right, that I couldn't figure out how to print right. They were all pixelated. Whoa, there's some, uh, ooh, doggy, there's some surfboards for you. Oh, here's Dream Backwards. <laughs> Dude, this is a pretty one. I'm gonna keep I'm almost through here one one run so I'm gonna do all these this is down from when I sorted them a long time ago and had them buy types of paper. <laughs> so this this part will go fast. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is what happens. All this damn patty, what is a smaller, what is a smaller Lebanon itty bitty brush you use? Um, well, Let's see. Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. I think this one's an itty bitty. That's a small. That was one of my first ones I got. Um, so this. This one is an itty bitty. And I don't remember what hair it was, and I took the label off of it, but it was, I know it was $25. I think it was elk. And this is a small. So this itty bitty was an inch long, and this one's three quarters long, but it's medium. See the girth of the, that's probably one of Eileen's favorite words, but of the, right where the bristles come out of the bamboo, how much thicker these are, there's more hair in there. That's a small, and this one next to it is an itty bitty, three quarter inch and one inch. The tan one with the stick at the end. This one? This one is a small orange synthetic. If this is the one you meant, that's the orange synthetic. And this one is $25. Hey, Vicki. You're late to the party. Is that the one you meant, Allie? Yeah. Yeah, that's an orange synthetic. And my coupon is still good if you use Patty, P-A-T-T-I. It's 20% um, off. So it would be $20 instead of $25. So that's Lebanon paintbrushes. I'll try to remember to link that below. I should be doing that all the time, but I forget. I'm going to need a bigger container because he sent me a ton of stuff here.
the ones with these little sticks, I love these, but they're tricky to get in a container like this. I have to play with those again soon. I haven't played with them for a while. I don't use brushes much anymore for some reason. Where did you find when you're dead? Where did I find your camera again? Okay. Um, well, the problem is that my schedule is so chaotic that I sometimes don't know until 15 minutes before I go live. But I do post every time on Facebook under my Patty Tally Parish page and my Inky Obsessions page. I post on Instagram. I'm at P L Y N N T P L Y N T there and on um, same on uh, Twitter. So I post everywhere when I know I'm going to go. Yeah, I work full time. My it's there. It's a, it's a whole thing. But um, yeah, I sometimes I don't know. I used to way back in the day have a schedule every Sunday at 11. Not so much anymore. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, here's a piece of this Yupo. Yupo. I don't know where. Oh, I thought I had more. Um, I always like that one. It looked like lightning running through there to me in a night sky. Maybe I'll use that one next time we collage. This is tissue that I embossed on. Whoa. Tissue, tissue. Why am I putting tissue over in this pile? I'm already hosed up. Rice. Now that's onion skin. Onion skin, onion skin, onion, 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 onions, onions, la la la. Anybody remember that song? Are you as old as me? <laughs> I know, keep my day job. This, 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 and these are prints of Jackie's. I have actually, I have a folder of, for her stenciled and stuff up here. I'm going to put that in here. I got to play with her new stencils I got. I haven't been jelly plating much. I wonder why. This is only a smidgen of the papers that I have. Put this one in here. I found finally found all my Terra Skin and Yupo alcohol ink examples with stencils. I'll be able to find them next time we do one of those. All right, um, now now where the hell are we? <laughs> that one's kind of cool. Now I'm going to make a pile of my favorites. That's kind of cool. But realistically, will I ever get around to using all these? They're surfboards. Maybe I'll put something foily over there. A backwards dream. That over there. That one was cool, Jones. Um, dream catcher. <gasps> Favorite. Favorite. That's a good one. Sit those there. 
And this one is pretty cool. So, Oh, yay. My brother just texted. He's nine nautical miles off of Jupiter Inlet right now. Said it was a beautiful ride. Okay. One leg closer to home. Okay. Those are good. I will use those. Let's see what's in here that I may or may not use. Anyone have a suggestion to fix a pitted gel plate surface? Ew, I don't think that's fixable. Flip it over. <laughs> or have you pitted both sides? I think once it's marked, it's marked. I'll have them come and visit, Eileen. Why is that? Oh, that's my... I know what that is. Never mind. Um... Hang on, Eileen. I'll show you something here in a minute. Work with me. Work with me. That's my brother. You want him to come and visit Eileen? You think you could stomach him? <laughs> Pretty sure I was adopted. I'm not I'm not certain, but I'm I'm leaning that way. Both sides. Oh, that came pitted? I would call them. I would call them, Allie. <laughs> Eileen, leave my little brother alone, you psycho. Okay. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to resort the deli. <laughs> yeah, it was blowing like crazy for days. They had to just lay up. Skip said he was okay in the um, center console. He followed the yacht in the smaller boat. Um, but he said they were getting really sloshed around the first day when they left the Bahamas and went to Chub K. So they got, they got thrashed. It looks like I'm not sorting, but I am. Actually, I think. There's that one I like. Yeah, but it still shouldn't be pitted. Where, did you get it online from them or did you get it um, at a store?
might be able to. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I would have loved to make that trip with them. But not in the cards. That's okay. I had my decades of being on the ocean offshore every weekend. Well, nine months out of the year at least. That one came out really cool. Now there's a foiled one. How'd I miss that? That's a good one. That's a good one. This 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 one. Okay. Hey, Julie. Good morning, New Zealand. Okay. All right. What did I just do? Oh, no, I'm good. <gasps> I almost, almost had a panic that I got my piles discombobulated here. All right. What time is it? 4.30. When did I come on? 2.30. Two hours. That's not too bad. All right. Let me get my, my foils. This is that piece of this, what do you call this stuff? Newsprint that I foiled with stamp off, stamp off on there. Okay. All right. Now there's more foils. Where the hell? This is the little one. Hang on. The little bits. It doesn't take long to fill those up. I think there's some foil in one of these bigger ones. Oh, God, the foil fabric. <laughs> Here's that piece. Remember we were playing with this, um, the bronze paint and spraying it with water on the jelly plate and watching it break apart into this patina-looking aqua color? Well... Remember I said it changed for me. This all this green on this fabric was the bronze that I was stamping on this fabric. And the only place you can really see it is where it overlapped, where the stamps see that line across there where the stamps overlapped. Or when it's on the black, you can see it a little bit. See right in there the bronze. But that green is that bronze on this fabric. I don't understand. See you, Helen. Me too. It's going to be a hell of a week, I got to tell you. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, here's all the Jude stuff. Jude, are you still here? I moved your stuff to the Cherish Forever bin to in here so I can copy it and start to use it. You sent me such good stuff that I had it in a secret place. <laughs> but I thought, I got to use this. I have to copy it and use it because, I mean, I'm not going to give up the originals, but. 
So you're you're now in the active bin. Oh, here's those other. This was more practice on those papers Xander sent me. So where was I looking? Oh, there they are. Okay. There's some rose gold on that one, that one. There's some Pacific Lagoon, that color shift of creamers. Pigment on those. Oh, my. On all this tissue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of correct. Oh, look. More foil. So these are the pages that Jackie sent me that I foiled. Oh, my goodness. Where did I put the foil thing? It's down here. Okay, we'll put the foils there. These are more like, this was got to be like my full page um, collage bin that I, ideas I wanted to do and papers. And these were papers of recent collages that I did and took a picture. Oh, I got to take a picture of my other one. I found this one laying over on the side. It is the grungiest of grunge papers. Oh, and I wanted this one too because I wanted to overlay that on some prints. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. See, these should not be in this big bin. They should go in the little bin. <laughs> How in the hell am I supposed to get this sorted? Eh, can live with that. Oh, look, more foil. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere. And see, this is the black. That's black foil, but it, I mean, it's just a little shiny. It's not, it doesn't wow me. Here's silver. Oh, that wows me. Oh, look, here's another piece of this stuff. Oh my, look here. And more, and more. Here's that original. There must've been two of these because here's that original I did in that first collage that I was trying to mimic yesterday. Remember that? That should be in the little pieces. Oh, there's some tear sheets. That's some of this. Some of these are smaller, but I'm just going to leave them in here because they're all. Here's the other collage that I did. I took a picture of it and colored, changed the color, saturation points, and all that, and printed it out on onion skin. Here. Oh, look, foil. Mm -mm 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 black and white. I'll put that in the little, the little bin. Here's that one of Robin's print that I changed the coloration on it and blew it up. Here's another collage I did that I changed the coloration on and printed that on onion skin. Holy mackerel. This Jackie gave me. I can... Did she say I can foil on that? I don't. Really, no, I don't think so. Um, so this has little bits of stuff on it that I might tear and use at some point. All right, let's see this other one. <laughs> Hang on. If that's what's in here, what the hell's in here? Off topic question. I'm sitting browsing shopping, a sale. Patty's chatting. Should I buy the box of I Dream? Should I buy the box set of I Dream a Genie? I cannot help you with that major decision. I uh, I will use it, Jude, but I'm going to copy it to use it. That's like sacred stuff. Oh, the tape bin. All these possibilities of tapes and tapes that are made. And what is this? Black tissue. Look, surfboard. I'll put you in the surfboard department. That's one of my backgrounds on onion skin. That's my collage sheets. Oh, and when I ran out of toner and all that looked kind of cool. And actually, I wanted to do something with one of these. I thought about this the other day. Font. How in the hell am I supposed to? Well, you know what? I'm going to put 
Oh, sweet Moses. Um, Patty cannot make N. What can I not make? Any papers? Hunt. <laughs> Patty cannot make any new. Oh, I can't make any new papers until I use these. Is that what you're going to say? Snap out of it. You know I'm going <laughs> to. Okay, so here's more scripting. Summer Robin's paper, scripting, papers. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let me put all these scripting bits in here. And this stuff in there. Is it in there? Or are they too long? Oh, and now we got the tape. <laughs> That may not make sense to most people, but I understand now what's in there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there we go. There's that one. And now let's put these in here. And I guess this fabric I'll have to put in here too. And Jude's preciousness. Oh, oh, wait, where do I, where am I going to put all these favorites that I picked? Well, now here's the problem. Some of these are 12 by 12 and that container is not. Let's put what will go in here and here. Now remind me where these are. Eileen, take notes. Because <laughs> you know, I'm not going to remember this. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, Deli. That one fits in there now because I've tore it. Oh, maybe I could do that. I'll go through here and tear a hundred of these. Not the Deli. Everything but the Deli. Yeah, where's the infected too? Oh, no. Ugh. That could be the worst. Is that unruh paper? Now, should that go in with the foil or within the full sheets? I don't know. It's foiled. I probably should be consistent. And that's foiled too, but that's not going to go in there. I'll have to rip these down for sure, but that's okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it just to stay semi straight here. I've never seen the top of that cabinet that sits in front of me in a long time. <laughs> so now we got more to go in this little bits, little bitty bits. That damn clock. Remember that ordeal? What is this? Okay. Where are those? There's the sand tape. I should start out using this next time. Rem I highly remind me. <laughs> I love this paper. Okay, so this, I'm going to fold this because I'm not going to use all of that. I'm going to use one or the other. Oh, maybe we'll do, I don't know, maybe not. Um, put that up there for now. And these, I do have a drawer that I can put these right next to me. But these are the foil things. So, okay, so let's put this up here. Let me find the little drawer. 
and some stencils. Neutral. All right. Remind me where they are, Eileen. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to make these go in here. I'm going to need a bigger folder. We're going to remind you where the note is. All right, we're screwed. Don't crunch it up now. Maybe I better put this in the drawer. Even though they're foiled, I'm going to put them in a the non foil drawer. <laughs> and these. Oh my God, I have to see. Where did these come from? Remember this sheet? Anybody know where this came from? That was under my uh, debacle with the um, fabric paints and the wet sponge, putting them on. <laughs> this I need to make shorter. I'm gonna put that in my little bitty drawer, put this in the foil. Now I'm gonna start tearing these down. It's only a few of them, don't anybody panic. I'm trying to think of what else I might do when I get done this. Patty is sorting some of her foil papers out, Jim. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make sense of a stack that was somewhere in the vicinity of 10 inches high sitting in front of me for months and just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I want to sort them and put them so I can find the damn things to use them. How pretty you are. Map of my desk. <laughs> I need an assistant. Eileen's too expensive. Look at this one. This one, can't, I, that one is hard to look at, but little teeny strips of this here and there might be lovely. And something, what's on there? Oh. Apparently that's, oh, this was Jackie stencil. I can, I can recognize those yellow shapes and I tried to foil it and the whole thing foiled. This was in my early stages of foiling on jelly prints, <laughs> which was like a week ago. <laughs> I'm certainly not a pro, but I'm willing to try anything. Even just little strips like that are kind of cool. But for another day, not today. Okay, let's shove these bad boys in the foil folder. Hoy, yay, yay. There we go. And now we got the foil pieces in here. And I got to, I'm going to put all these originals in somewhere too. Hold on. This goes in there. Oh, I sat too long. Why do you let me do that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I need another one of these where I'm going to put these things. I got a bunch more of these upstairs. Oh, what's this? Actually, there's some right here, too. Okay. So these are the originals, Jim, that I print 
either with stamps or however I print them on this paper. And then I put these on the glass of my laser printer to print these images on coffee stain paper or whatever paper I put on a carrier sheet. So that's all I got to do with foiling. Okay. So I'm going to put that right there. That's the only thing that's there. I'm going to take a picture of this bad boy. Oh my gosh. I, I can remember stuff from many, many moons ago. Um, like it was yesterday. But something this morning. <laughs> yeah, not so good. Wait a minute. Is this... Uh... Yep, I think they made it to Jupiter. Inlet in Florida, not the planet. Some people think I'm crazier than I am. I need to hydrate. Maybe that's the problem. I need to hydrate. I need to ask Robin sometimes how she organizes all the papers because I know she's got way more papers than I do. And she seems like she can find them pretty relatively easily. So let's see. I want to try to get this. As straight... And as evenly framed as I can, but I want the shiny to show. All right, let's see what happens here now. I did cut the bottom off. Okay, let's do that. Let's go in here and edit this one. Let's see what we got here. I want to... Crop. I want to actually move it a little bit. Sorry, guys, my hands are so shaky. This ends up a lot trickier than it needs to be. <laughs> oh, I think, I think they do, Susan, actually. A poster rack. I need a poster rack. I don't know what a poster rack is. Is it the ones with... Um, like in an art store, you can find specialty papers hanging over it, like rods, and then you drape the long papers over it. The problem I see with that is if you don't have multiples of all the same things, it would be very hard to find one unless you could furl them out a little bit, you know, and have this much of each one showing, but they're so only so wide. On top of that, I have nowhere to put that. <laughs> In my dream studio. Okay, let me do this real quick here. Well, I say real quick, but that's not going to happen. I like to change the... See how that changed the whole tone of it to like browns? It's a warm, cool, dramatic. Dramatic warm. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Let's do that. Dramatic warm, and then let's go up to all of these things. Exposure. Make it a little brighter. Brilliance. Highlights. Pull that that way a little bit. Shadows. 
contrast, you wouldn't think there were so many settings. Brightness, black point. That's when I like making saturate the blacks in it a little bit more. Vibrance, yeah, I'm good, that's good, done. Okay, now I'm gonna print that on a piece of onion skin. And we'll see what we got. Oh my gosh. Then I gotta remember which bin this goes in. I know, I'm just, I know which one it is. I'm just joshing you. So now I got a print. So now let's see if I can do borderless. Because if you notice, when if you watch, um, no, this is just my photos app in um, my iPhone, Allie, um, where you edit a photo. The photo does where it, it overlays, like double exposes, maybe eight different pictures at once. Um, Starting to do something. Oh, when Robin prints hers, if you notice, if you follow her on Patreon when she does that, they're borderless. But her other prints have a little bit of a border on there. But I can't, can't quite figure it out. So let's say, let's print, print. Oop. Print. Copy, copy, print. Print low on ink. Luckily, I have another set of what you call it right here. See, that didn't give me any choices to do that. Let me try. Let me look at this. Hang on. While the brilliant brains of printing borderlessly are here, is that a word? Um, let's see if I can show you my screen. Can you guys see that? Maybe not. No, you can't. I got to put, I'm not going to break my computer. So we're not going to let you, I'm not going to break my computer, but let's go like here. I was just, I had Robin's prints open here in um, my previewer, right? So if I go to file, print, um, Paper size, letter, black and white, two-sided, show notes, auto-rotate, scale to fit, print entire image, or fill entire paper. I say fill entire paper. It still leaves a little bit of a blank, of a white border. I can't see what I'm showing you now, but see the white border on this image? That's what it says, fill entire sheet. And I do not see where else... I have anything to change on here. Of course, I can't see the chat either. Eileen's probably screaming something from the high heavens. So let me peek back over here at the chat. Nobody's telling me anything. <laughs> I'll have to play with it at a later date. Anywho, here, this just printed. Let's see what we got here. That looks really good. But see the border? Still got a border. That's still a little bit wet because it came out really saturated. Oh, I don't like how it did this shiny bit made that all dark brown. But I was trying to make it look different, and it does. So there's that. Um, I will play around with the printer because that's driving me nuts that I can't figure that out. I usually can figure that stuff out. Your printer may not be able to print borderless. Hello, didn't you just say your printer has to be able to print borderless? I'm going to scroll back and find that comment. Uh, uh, is there a margin setting? Not that I've seen. I wonder if I open up the printer properties. Hang on here. Um, let's go into... Settings. I know enough to be dangerous. Printer and scanner. Printer. Options and supplies. Open print queue. Share on network. 
last printer U, default size letter. Options and supplies. Show printer web page, find a printer. Supply levels. Zippity doo da. Nothing. Nothing, 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 honey. Yes, but your main knit be able to do it. But you, yeah, I don't think mine can do it. Where's my um? Hmm. I wonder if I try to print. Let's try this. Let me go. Oh, great! Did it stick? Oh, it did, but it didn't. It didn't print on me. Let me go into my photos. And try to print a photo. And see if it's a photo that'll give me borderless. File. Print. Fit, fill, even those have a border. And all the different sizes, custom, color, fit. That's fit, that's fill. And it still leaves a border. Eight by 10, of course, is gonna leave a border. I wonder if I do custom. And if I make it eight and a half by 11. Aha! Nope, still got a border. <laughs> it changed it to eight by 10.19. So I'm um, guessing this printer won't do borderless. It's an HP uh, photo, HP Envy photo 7855. I think I'll call HP. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. And I've had printers that do that too, Joan, but I don't... Um, do not see it on this one. They are all of Robin's prints are PDFs that I tried it on. And it says fill entire paper is one of the options. But you saw how they printed. They all have that little tiny border around them. I got to ask Robin if there's a setting. Because she's got an Envy. But it's an older model. 50, 60 or 50. I don't remember. She's got an older model that she's had for a few years. Hey, Debra. Welcome. We're just getting ready to sign off, actually. I've been on here since 2.30. Um, but anywho, so here are these dried now. I wanted to come back and show you. This is the golden bronze. Um, on the jelly plate, this had a little bit of Titan Buff mixed in and spritz with water and let it, the paint separate. And you can see it breaks down into that patina and the bronze paint. See how that got darker there? And dried like that. Isn't that cool? But with that Titan buff, the bronze isn't as shiny as I like shiny. And then here I picked up the rest of that on this piece of deli paper. All right. And then here is a piece of onion skin where I did the other print and then I pushed on it. These are just laying on it and picking up whatever stuck to the paper with the moisture. No kidding, Eileen. <laughs> I have to, yeah, I'm going to look it up. I'll Google the model and see what it says. But there you go. You can't tell that that's that aqua color in there, but it is. It almost looks white, but that's aqua in there. 
real fair. So there you go. Now I got more papers. Where am I putting these? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me two days in a row. I'm sure you've had enough of me for a while. So that's good because it may be a while. And um, uh, got a uh, kind of a tricky week coming up here, but we will get through it. And um, I'll catch you on the flip side. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate you hanging with me. Going to run. Take care. So everybody stay safe.